Hey, what's going on guys? It's Moses. It's um, been a little bit of a weird week. Uh, Danny and my mom left about two weeks ago, so I haven't posted a video in about a week. Apologize for that. But uh, it's kind of been a little hectic. I kind of fill you guys in as the vlog progresses. I'm going to post this vlog up tonight for tomorrow. But um, first off, we're all excited for Danny's birthday celebration. Um, I think now we have a running total of eight people that are going. Uh, myself, obviously my brother, Nav, my boy Anthony, and I think four of my brother's friends. And um, I know I just hope everything goes well because you know how some people say I'm gonna go, and then at the last minute, at the last minute they kind of flake out. But uh, to kind of uh, vet out the people that are like that, we said that everyone needs to send me $150 by next week so that way I can get all the Airbnb accommodations taken care of, the car rental, and just have the uh, like uh, everything that is considered like a necessity taken care of. And um, I think we kind of have a, a, solid found, a solid plan on what's gonna happen. Me and Nav are going to fly from here, Orlando, and uh, we're gonna fly to New York City. And believe it or not, the reason why we're doing that instead of flying to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, where my brother is at, is because we found flights from here to New York for $45, one way, of course. So we're obviously going to jump on that. And um, they're going to meet us out in New York. They're going to rent a car in Pennsylvania, meet us in New York. We're going to spend about two nights in New York because, oddly, my brother, for his birthday, wants to go to Chinatown. And I'm not sure what that's about. But after that, we're going to drive to Toronto and then spend three to four. I think four days in Toronto, three nights, four days, I think that's how it goes, in Toronto, and then drive back to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and then we might hit up Philly. So it's gonna be almost like a, a guy's road trip kind of thing that I'm really excited for. And uh, even though it's a little further away, we leave January 5th, I'm still excited, I'm still planning for it. And uh, as, you know, as the plans become more solidified, I'll tell you guys more about them and kind of see what's on the itinerary. Um, other than that, I kind of took this week to self-reflect on a lot of things and a lot of it I'll go into later on because I've actually had someone help me with a couple of um, inner issues I was kind of dealing with and um, I kind of just needed to take the time to focus on myself. I wasn't really working much. I wasn't really doing anything except for trying to make things a little bit better for myself. Um, again, I'll go into more of that later on, but uh, there's a couple things I do want to show you guys today. Um, they, I've been working on uh, a new line of stuff, which is going to be something really small, really like niche oriented, but it's really cool. And I'll go ahead and roll in some B-roll footage right now so you guys can check it out. Um, I posted a couple of pictures on the Instagram. People have been responding really well to it. And, you know, shooting me a DM saying, hey, you know, do you have this? Do you have that? I really like it, blah, blah, blah. But you guys know, as in anything, uh, you know, interest needs to result in a sale. That's how you stay in business. That's how I pay my rent. That's how I do everything. That's how I'm paying for this trip. So I just need to to make sure that I'm, I'm, making, I'm making shopping with headquarters very, very easy for you guys. That's something that I've been lacking on. I've been focusing more so on the creative rather than the ease of service and also the business aspect of it. Um, I apologize for that. Well, mostly to myself, but uh, you know, I, I, I'm just a very creative person and I like to see my ideas come to fruition. And if I can make that happen, I definitely will do that. And um, you know, I'm kind of just thinking about maybe bringing on some more people to kind of help me with the things that I'm not very good at. And um, there's a lot of it, trust me. Hey, but where's your shoes? Hmm? Yeah, go find your shoes. They're right there, the pink ones. Oh. Get the pink ones. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Carry it. <laughs> How did you get a bug in your hand? <laughs> that was actually really funny. Bye, baby. Ah, love you. Clarissa brought me lunch. And I'm going to shut up. I think she got me a burger, so I'm freaking going to kill it. I'm so hungry. Okay, so. Focus this bitch. French fries, yep. French fries are going to get eaten and tracked. And I got. Oh my god. The 
bread, the meat. Did I forget my? Nope, they got it. Basically, lettuce, tomato, onion, uh, no mayo, cheese, and bacon, and uh, French fries. How you guys digging my do-it-yourself in-home lighting studio for small products? Check it out. Small light, small light, big ass light that's just chilling here. Hopefully it doesn't catch fire. And I'm gonna have my products in just like that. Boom. Be on the tripod just right here. Sitting right here. Boom. Look at that shit. After some time, you can see that the uh, site's up. This is the bracelet page here. If I go to the landing page, you guys are gonna see this. So, guys, do me a favor, check it out, hqclothiers.com. I'm gonna get ready for the gym. Uh, Nav just called me, he said that he's out of work. So, <laughs> like always, I'm probably gonna end up wearing the same thing. I always wear it to the gym. Gray sweatpants, black shirt, black, uh, they're not Harachis, what are they? Um, Roche Runs. Is it Roche or Roush? Roshi? I've heard so many different names, I still don't know how to pronounce it. So if you guys know it, put it down in the comment section below so I don't look like an idiot when I go out and buy a new pair. How many of you guys wash your clothes and like put them in a dryer and leave them there for like days? Uh, let's see if it's in here. Okay, it's not in there. Maybe it's in my dirty clothes bin. somewhere Ugh. it won't be in that room um I guess while I'm trying to find it I'm gonna talk to you guys and show you the stuff that I did with my fitness pal I don't even know if I'm in focus mm. I have one contact in and I can't see a damn thing so we're gonna call that focused for those of you that care my macros are 185 grams of protein, 210 grams of carbs, 50, 50, 50 grams of fat, if I'm remembering correctly. And so today, my macros that I hit were, okay, what the hell just happened? 237 grams of, of uh, carbohydrates, obviously high, 61 grams of fat, obviously 11 grams higher than my goal, Protein at 94 grams. That's that's horrible. That's horrible. Protein is supposed to be like the number one macro that you actually hit. I mean, all three of them are important, but uh, that really just goes to show I need to go shopping. I need to stop uh, kind of eating out and stuff like that. Um, Clarissa brought me that burger, which put me uh, really close to my fats. And then uh, she made lasagna, so I had that. And the way I calculated it is I knew she was going to make lasagna and she knows that I, I needed to, if I am going to have something like pasta or something like that, it has to be healthier than the way she makes it. So like the cheese has to be like, um, not necessarily taken out because you can't have lasagna without cheese, but lessened or use like, like skim milk cheese and shit like that. Um, my protein sources normally come from chicken breast and maybe like ground turkey or something like that. But since I haven't went shopping in the past two weeks, I literally have nothing in the fridge. Like if you look in there, you might see like a popsicle in there and that's about it so honestly until I go to the store I'm just gonna be surviving off whatever I can and uh, during this gym session I'm going to obviously hit the gym today is chest day it's Monday IDC International Chest Day and um, 500 calories of cardio which is a bitch to be honest because you're on there for like 50 minutes on for me I'm doing the elliptical and according to my coach I'm keeping my heart rate about 128 beats per minute to 140 so I'm like moving on there so um, to, you know just 50 minutes of that it gets brutal and then five days a week I get to do that oh man 
But uh, let me go ahead and find my clothes. Hopefully, Nav comes to pick me up, and I will catch you guys in the next clip. Ooh, ooh, yo, it's Alex. Yeah. Yo, we're not, we're not picking her back up. <laughs> All right, so right now, we're in Nav's girlfriend's car. Girlfriend. So, uh, all right, let me tell them the story how y'all met, okay? No, no story. Wait, what the fuck is... All right. Not if this is fucking going online. Hey, none of your ex-wives watch my shit, dude. How do you know? Because I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, now I've ended up going to a strip club, right? <laughs> and he met the uh, the bartender. And I was like, oh, wow, like, that's pretty cool. Like, they started talking, and all of a sudden, he fucking disappears, right? And I'm like, yo, where the hell Nav went? And so he comes out with hickeys all over his neck, and I was like, oh, shoot, my G. And then all of a sudden, I wake up the next day and she's in his bed. So I was like, yo, wow, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not how the story went. But um, he got a, he got some some friend that he be chilling with. So that's a, that's, a, that's a new look for him. I'm proud that he actually can squeeze on some boobies. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so right now we're going to hit the gym. And it's all because of Moses because I was like, no, I don't want to. And he was like, G, <laughs> you're fucking single. I was like... Exactly. So, like, if you single, why not? My turn next. I'll catch you guys later on. We're going to hit this gym. We're going to hit goals. We're going to try to have to kind of hurry up. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed the makeshift weird-ass, like, little photo shoot that I had set up. And um, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. If you're not already, follow me on Instagram. It's Moses underscore Vega or HQ Clothiers. And if you guys have any questions, either leave them down in the comment section below or... Oh, God. Or shoot me an email. <laughs> Thank you guys. Have a good night and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.